stones play a big role in the art of Peter Morin in many ways. He makes lithographs, which use stone slabs to make the images. You make your image on a slab of marble or limestone, and uh, you're actually dealing with the surface of a stone. If you took a magnifying glass and put it to the surface of the stone, you would see hills and valleys. And you have to negotiate these hills and valleys to make the artwork, basically. And in Talton culture, stones represent the ancestors through whom knowledge is gained. Like stones become grandfathers and grandmothers. So here I was at art school, and I had all these grandmothers and grandfathers there to help me make my art. They were talking to me and transferring knowledge to me through the art making process. And to see the stones as grandmothers and grandfathers helping to shape the art was really um, how I was able to do so much during that time. So it's not surprising that his work celebrates the ancestors, including his own. This print, Hunting Party, honors his grandfather, a longtime hunting guide. What I think about this picture is that it demonstrates the importance of Taltan nation knowledge and how innovative it is. So I feel very proud of my grandfather and the teachings that he passed on to us. Many of his images contain stones with different meanings. This depicts a traditional hairpiece worn by adolescent girls in training. The young girls would pull their hair back and, and tie it and what we have here at the bottom is, these are uh, river stones. And so if a young lady uh, pulls her hair back and ties this into place, and there's stones weighting it down, they're kind of pulling her head back. It's like a reminder to always keep your head up and be proud. That's a lesson that this object gave to me. And those stones, once again, helped me to see so I've been taking that idea of knowledge, and I want to represent it even more as it relates to our bodies. So this uh, indigenous knowledge, what shape does it take? The stone represents our knowledge. The, it encompasses our knowledge, and the history of our knowledge, and the history of ideas. And, and then it's connected to our bodies. And you can see it here. And the knowledge changes the shape of our body. So it's a stone, but it changes the shape of our body. And we carry that with us. We, that's our shape. We should acknowledge it and love it. The ancestors gave us, they're so smart. They gave us all the tools that we would ever need to continue to create indigenous-based knowledge. And that's a, that's a reality. That's where we 